when is the best time to use your anthropology skills? Welcome to Build a Better Career. In this video, we'll talk about getting a new boss at your current job and how using the skills of an anthropologist can help you build a successful working relationship with your new boss. Hello, I'm Diane Vogino, and if this and other topics like this sound of interest to you, then please subscribe to this channel. You know, when a new boss comes on the scene, you're faced with a balancing act. You can't come on too strong, nor should you be a wallflower. You can't act like you know everything, but you do need to provide your new boss some level of guidance for him or her to be successful. Remember, their success is your success. You can't be a gossip, yet sometimes the sin of omission when it comes to information can be just as damaging as the sin of commission and being a gossip, a balancing act indeed. In addition to your balancing act, try to understand your new boss's communication style. This is where your anthropology skills come in. Study and observe. If you're familiar with the DISC assessment, then it becomes even easier if you observe behaviors. Remember, every behavioral style has both verbal and body language clues to help you understand and adapt to their style. Digging further into communication, find out if your new boss prefers communicating by email or wants agendas or lists put on paper and presented at meetings or kept in notebooks or digital files. Does your new boss prefer communication via phone, email, text, or face-to-face? -face? Above all, be professional right from the start. Observe your own habits. Have you become slack in dress, work habits, or your own communication? Your new boss will be sizing you up, either as a keeper, someone to groom for a promotion, or to put at the back of the pack. That first impression is the most important of all. Try to schedule a meeting with your new boss as soon as possible. In this meeting, you can discuss your boss's expectations. Take this opportunity to offer to help your new boss settle in wherever possible. And while you can't help your boss climb the corporate ladder, you can give advice on places to eat or maybe who to see about what and other small gestures such as these. Prepare an executive summary report that will give the new boss the lay of the land, so to speak. What projects are in play? What might have been on the horizon? Keeping in mind, your new boss may stop projects in progress, dismiss those on the horizon. You're not there to throw anyone or anything under the bus. You're just the messenger. Try to find some common ground. You may have some shared interests that can help hit things off well at the start. If you know who your new boss is ahead of their arrival, you might look them up on LinkedIn or other social media platforms to gain some insight. If you both like the same sports team or share some hobby, that can be an icebreaker. Remember, always avoid politics and religion. And finally, have some empathy for your new boss as they will need to find their bearings. And they will be very busy the first few weeks, so try not to press them for your needs right away. And try to take any extra work off them if possible without overdoing it or getting yourself in over your head. Look, if you have had a successful relationship with your previous boss, chances are good that you'll be successful with your new boss. Remember, common sense is the order of the day. Join my Build a Better Career Mastermind group to help you cope with workplace change and build a better career. Thank you for watching and please support this channel by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss any of my videos to help you build a better career. Let's get started.